Hello everyone, I am going to do a reading for you using my labyrinth through time and this is a complete divination system in a kit form that all fits in the tin, apart from the book, we don't want to squish that. Um, what it is, it is a charm casting mediumship slash predictive reading, you name it, you can do it with this kit. It comes with its book. And it took me forever to write this book because my concentration level is that of a fish. Many of you who know me will know that. So I've made the book in step-by-step uh, -step format, but all the people who actually buy this kit get automatically enrolled in a 45-minute video dem demonstration um, video. So for those of you who don't want to sit and read a book, because it's the same data that I've actually written in there, but it is a private link where you get to also see me using this in the reel. So what's in the kit? We have, sorry, I had this out before. It has a 12-sided dice. It has a proper real amethyst pendulum. And I made sure that these pendulums aren't just on a single chain, they're actually on a double chain uh, for a necklace. And they're not too huge to hang around your neck because I know a lot of people do love them as a piece of jewellery rather than just a pendulum and nothing else. It comes with cards. Now, there is cards that come with this. I'll show you these. There is 11 word cards and I've got them things like pros, cons, hopes, fears, do this, don't do this, 6, 12, 3 months. So there's 11 word cards and there is 25 image cards. Now these card images are all the same that's on the mat. It all comes in a pretty little bag because it is unlocking your destiny. It also is a mat and this mat here is made in that lovely stretchy jersey so it's fully washable and as you can see even squashed up in the tin you don't have to iron it and if you're like me i absolutely detest ironing um gone are those days long ago the moment i discovered lycra don't worry folks i don't wear one of those lycra bodysuit things like that not if you saw me at five foot tall and nothing else um so it is a double-sided mat as well this side i actually call it my life wheel and the reason i call it a life wheel it's because it's got the eight major sections when you are looking at your life and i've gone into uh, quite in depth when we're going from alphabet side to the wheel of life side and also in your book there's a whole bunch of questions and things on how we read this so and this side we often use this side if you are wanting to tap into mediumship which is tapping into loved ones who have passed over and it is a really really simple way to do it with the pendulum and i have gone into that depth in the book and in the course that is comes with it so in a nutshell version we have these symbols all around inner and outer they are the 25 card symbols so you see these identical to what is written or displayed on the mat okay so the clock in the middle is used for timings and the alphabet is used for person place or thing and it's usually a name so if you had something land on the d here it could be a diane it could be a, a door it could be a david um and it really just you'll know once you get into this and who pops up for you and they sometimes can be just a spirit guide so the kit comes with cards, book, dice, pendulum, mat, all in the gold tin. And I made the tin that has a screw lid because 
what you do is you use charms with this. Now, I did option this kit without charms or with charms. So if you're looking in the Etsy store, you've got the options. In here, I've actually got, uh, there's 100 charms in there. And that is my starter set of charms of 50. And also my newer 50 add-on set of charms that come with it as well. Or you've got the options there. So... I'm actually going to do a reading and I'm actually going to do a reading for myself. Now, if anyone's been following me, they will know I've got back issues and I am at that point where I will be discussing with surgeon uh, to enter down the surgery path because the pain is unbelievable. Trust me. So even standing here for 10, 15 minutes is a real struggle. And I do stand when I do these videos because I am five foot nothing. So I couldn't sit down and do it. I like it to see it overhead. So the questions I'm actually going to ask pertaining to me is um, if I choose to go down the surgery path, how will that benefit me? So, first thing I'm going to do is mix. And I'm going to sprinkle inside. So, um, and I also should have done, sorry, because we start in the centre with the key. Ah, so even when I lock them out. The horse on the key. So the key is about what unlocks things and what is um, new doorways, new pathways. And I've got a horse on there and it's really nice to see the galloping horse because it tells me it will give me more freedom and movement. So then my casting here, the lady here I would see as myself. I've got the telephone there, which tells me, yes, don't be afraid to ask the surgeon more and more information. Um, and we are talking, remember, how will this benefit me? We've also got the peacock and the ring. The ring is about long-term connections. So I always think of a ring as unions. And it's got the peacock on there and the peacock's also touching the one. So the peacock there would tell me, yes, I can stand tall and proud and not be afraid to show myself, which you'll probably see I haven't shown much of myself recently because of the pain. Um, the ring here would tell me, yes, a solution, the commitment to it, to wellness. And then I have the one. And the one is timing. So it tells me, uh, pivotal moments around this decision and that can be one day as in tomorrow which funny enough I actually have a telephone appointment with the surgeon due to COVID <laughs> one day it also tells me uh, one one week and up to one month now when I'm looking at that as timing I would say I'll be in surgery in under a month so the month is a maximum I've got the little car here down between six and uh, five and six. So again, five days from now, six days from now, things are moving along quite well. Up here is interesting where I've got the mountain on the anchor and also the number 11. So the 11 again would tell me 11 days, 11 weeks, up to 11 months. That'd be really good if I can have a solution uh, longer than 11 months with a bit of luck. Um, the anchor and the mountain are both very rigid though. And it's interesting because the anchor is about uh, waist down problems um, in looking at health. So it does mean literally lower spine and pelvis, which is the issue that I'm having. And I've got the mountain. So it does tell me it's not going to be easy going. And it could be right down to my rehabilitation where I really need to work hard at that in order to get the movement back to what I am doing. So now I'm going to do a second casting. And as you can see, I've only got five charms there. You do not need, like one of the big things many people make, they go like this. You don't do that. That's the worst thing you can do. Charm reading, it very much is like um, perfume. Less is more. Yeah. So I'm just doing a couple of scatters, both sides of the outer. I have the lighthouse here on the letter I. 
So the lighthouse is about shining the light and the safe voyage to through this journey. And the letter I could be literally the person's name. It could be Elisa, it could be Ian. Um, I have to think about where I place that, but I've got an idea on where. The gun here, gun is about pain and suffering. It's on the letter N. So again, a person, a place, a thing, and it could be just where the hospital is. And the gun means dealing with pain. So yes, it's not gonna be an easy ride. It's also interesting, I've got the camel here on the moon, which tells me my emotions also is not going to be an easy ride through this. I've got the eagle, which is very much a powerful sign, which tells me, look at the strength, the power, and grab this opportunity as fast as I can. It's on the letter R. And again, there would tell me person, place, or thing. Now, I also know, um, and it comes with time, letters also have an energy. And the letter R energy is about um, empathy, compassion, um, learning to be comfortable. And there I'd also look at it there and say, yes, I do need to look at being comfortable. I have the broom, which tells me clearing up the debris and getting rid of things that I don't need, which will be the issue in my spine because um, I'm riddled with arthritis. So they'll probably have a nice grind away at some things while they're in there. The book here, it's touching there, so it does tell me about something in writing. So it could be the prescription and or test results. And then I've got here the tunnel on the dollar sign. Um, that just tells me though, new sources or new avenues where I'm looking at the costs or the money. Um, it couldn't be any more truthful if I tried because the surgery, even here in Australia, with the highest level of blue ribbon in health insurance that we have in this country, I'm still going to be out of pocket a couple of thousand dollars just to have surgery. So it's pretty bad, yeah. Um, but look, hey, we're more advanced than some. So that's how I'd look at that. Now I want to also have a look, and this is where we use our cards. So, and I can look at things and we layer. So think of a cream cake, one after another, after another. So I want to actually have a look here because I see this one as the tougher symbol. So I'm looking there about the pain or the difficulties that I may have in movement. So I'm actually, whoops, that one goes in a word card, sorry. Um, money, yes, and key. So it just tells me, again, if I bring out the money to do so, it will still release me. That's not a bad thing. I've got gun here as well, which is a fairly troubled type symbol. So baby would tell me renewal. Ring again, tell me commit to the rehabilitation, commit to the surgery and do the right thing. And it'll help me as far as the pain goes. Now, these cards, with your word cards, we've got things like what is hidden, pros, cons, hopes, fears. I'm going to actually use um, a hope and a fear. Right? And I can cast charms or, yeah, actually I'll cast charms on that. And you can bring out just a couple of charms there for each area. So I'll go hopes and I'll go fears. Oh gosh, I've got Dr. Stethoscope. Um, so the hopes with the cane and the dog would tell me, um, hopefully friendlier things where I have the support and that's nice. But the hopes there is literally as the cane, not just thinking as it's a candy cane because you can't actually buy a cane, walking cane charm. That's why you have a candy cane. Um, hopes there would tell me literally again around movement because yes, I am at periods on and off a walking stick when it's really, really bad. My fears here, I've got the playing cards and the doctor's stethoscope. My fears there is literally will the surgery um, and all the surgeons, um, do, am I taking a gamble on this? Because it's you got got the stethoscope, so it does mean, yes, listen to the heartbeat of what's telling me, but this is in my fears of will this surgery actually be successful? And that's a hard one. 
and pendulums we use for your confirmations of yes and no and my yeses are anti-clockwise and my noes are clockwise i am back to front than a lot of people and i don't swing yes or no so i'm actually just going to ask that very question will this surgery be successful it's very confused it's not giving me a thing okay sometimes when you have a pendulum and if it's confused it can often be it's not ready to be answered yet so i'm just going to come back to that one in a minute and our dice is all about timings so my big question is how fast can this surgeon get me in to have this surgery and we are in a very heavy lockdown here in melbourne in australia at the moment so three there would tell me i may end up having to wait up to three weeks and i don't mean months because it is an urgent uh, procedure so your three is telling me it can be up to three weeks so i will ask it again will this surgery be successful i'm getting little yeses and that's that's a concern especially when i'm going to be paying out some thousands so that does leave me again fairly on the fence on do i or don't i have this surgery so what i may look and happen to do and like i said my appointment is with the specialist in the morning and there is a lot of things that i need to discuss with him and it'll be interesting then i come back and actually ask my pendulum again because it's given me small yeses it's not telling me that's going to be a screaming success and that's a worry because i was in hospital only three weeks or so ago having a minor procedure and that failed so you can actually see an err on my side of caution so there is a real life reading yes it's not warm and fuzzy and yes it's still in some areas there where i am feeling a little apprehensive about the surgery and as you can see as much as i can see any reason any wonder why so i hope that helps you seeing a real life reading that isn't all a bed of roses and warm and fuzzy so that's labyrinth through time guys and like i said this all packs up so nice all in its little tin and i'll just pop those in there and my dice and pendulum goes in there little ones there the mat is nice where it all rolls up and tip so i'm not losing anything and you fold it four then three is the easiest way i say it squishes in there that squishes in there oh there's a broom and then that goes in there and then all goes in the tin and like i said it's squishing so nothing comes out and that's labyrinth through time thanks for listening guys